What's up everybody, Scott Johnson with Charlotte Stories here. Today I'm checking out Belmont, North Carolina, just west of Charlotte. It's a small little city that's been growing like crazy over the past 10 years. So I'm going to find out a little bit more about the history of this city, why it's growing so fast, and check out some of the best places to eat, see, and visit. I'm here at Belmont Abbey College. I'm going to talk to the president, find a little bit more about this college, the monastery here, and the city of Belmont. Hi, my name is Dr. Bill Theerfelder. I'm president of Belmont Abbey College. The college was founded in 1876. Uh, it's a remarkable story of divine providence, just how it even got here. This track of about 500 acres is auctioned off for back taxes. The offer goes to these German-speaking monks who have come from Bavaria, or up in Pennsylvania. They end up saying yes, and then sight unseen, they send down one monk, picks up two students. They arrive here April 21st, 1876, and they start class the day they arrive. There's nothing on this property but two shacks with holes in the roof. Uh, that is the beginning of Belmont Abbey College. At the time, the name of this town was Garibaldi. Uh, there was actually, and it wasn't named for this person, but in Italy, there was a communist by the name of Garibaldi. And uh, the abbot wasn't thrilled with a town named Garibaldi. So I think he talked to the kind of founding fathers of Belmont, and uh, I, I guess they came to an agreement to change it. You know, we were St. Mary's, we would change our name if they would change their name. And the reason it was Belmont is that uh, from this property, you could actually see Crowder's Mountain, and it was the beautiful mountain. So Belmont, Belmonte in Latin is beautiful mount, beautiful mountain. I'm here in downtown Belmont at a place called the String Bean. My name is Nate Helton, and I'm the general manager at the String Bean. The String Bean is all about people. Um, outside of that, we're obviously about great beer, great wine, great food. Uh, we believe in the highest quality products only. Here's our cow pea burger with eggplant fries. This is our shrimp and fruits. We get in the freshest fish five days a week. Certified Angus meats, local meats, um, local vegetables. So the people in Belmont are great. You know, there's a huge, huge local involvement. You know, everybody that comes in here is involved with the different organizations, charities. Um, there's a lot of festivals here. We do the Belmont Criterion bike race every year, and that brings tons of people. So there's just there's a, a really good sense of life. There's people walking up and down the streets. You know, it's bustling every day, every night. It's just. It's special. I don't, know, I don't know what else to say. It's just unique. Sure. I love it so much, I bought a house and moved here. I worked at the String Bean for a couple years and said, I'm not leaving. I bought a house up the street and I'm still here, so I love it. I'm Jim Hoffman, Chief Operating Officer for the beautiful Daniel Stowe Botanical Garden. All right, so Dan Stowe had a, had a vision to establish a botanical garden here in southeastern Gaston County back in the, in the late 80s, early 90s. He set us out about three or 400 acres. We have a, a dozen garden rooms. We have a, an orchid conservatory that's dedicated to orchids and tropical plants. Just a couple of years ago, we built a children's garden called Lost Hollow. The garden has more than 120,000 guests each year. Each and every year we see people from all 50 states and we have people from more than a dozen foreign countries that come here every year too. Belmont's River District includes the brand new Kevin Lofton Park with a one-of-a-kind wood texture playground, a fishing pier with a kayak launch, and several pavilions. The River District also includes the Belmont Rowing Center, one of the Charlotte region's only places for professional rowers and amateur rowers alike. And one of the most interesting places in the River District is the Muddy River Distillery. Hi, I'm Robbie Delaney with Muddy River Distillery. We are North Carolina's first and oldest rum distillery. Founded in 2011, doesn't take much to be the oldest in North Carolina. We actually found this building on Craigslist. Uh, Belmont just seemed like the perfect area, so at the time I was working in Texas. I sent my mom out to check the place out, make sure it was a good, good fit for us. And uh, the river happened to be flooded that day, hence the name Muddy River Distillery. Coming to work in the morning, especially on Saturdays, it's really cool to look out towards the river and see the crew boats running up and downstream. It's a pretty cool thing to have in our front yard. Hello, I'm William and this is Christine. We own Peace and Harmony Q Shack here in Belmont. We're located in East Belmont, or now called the Riverfront District, uh, located right across the street from the Catawba River Antique Mall, which was the old majestic mill. Zag had just recently noted us as one of the uh, top uh, barbecue brunches in, in the southeast. They noted our Porkapalooza hash, which uh, if you haven't tried it, you need to get yourselves in here to try it. <laughs> 
a couple eggs on top of uh, a uh, pork filled hash with um, smothered in chorizo gravy. You just can't go wrong. My name is Emery Vandiver and this is the Catawba River Antique Mall in Belmont. We are the largest antique mall in Gaston and Mecklenburg counties. 25, 30 years ago, we came to Belmont to play ball and it's kind of rough. We didn't know if we were going to get out safely, but came back uh, four years ago scouting locations and just was amazed how nice Belmont is. It's got fantastic restaurants. It, it seems like every every business, every building here is, is renovated and taken care of. They preserve a lot of the history. It's kind of just a nice little gym. Thanks for watching my tour of Belmont, North Carolina. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please comment below, let me know what you thought. Let me know what other cities you want me to visit and uh, please share this video. Tell everybody how awesome the city of Belmont is.